Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today we are in Louisville, Texas to check out this Walmart and an added bonus big box store at the end. I was doing a little bit of work today in Louisville, so I decided to check out this Walmart. I've never been to this Walmart in Louisville in the colony. So if you guys are in the area at Louisville, Texas, you might want to check this Walmart out. But as you can see, we are about to walk into this Walmart. Presentation at the front is nice. Everything is organized. The shelves look nice. And I'm noticing that this Walmart isn't quite busy, which might be advantageous considering, um, you know, maybe there's not a lot of foot traffic, meaning we don't have to have a lot of people looking at these plants, meaning some of these nice rare plants might actually still be there because I've noticed that big box stores like Walmart, if they have high traffic, the plants aren't there. But I can see that there is a huge stand of different types of larger foliage for $24.89. I love how they have all of it priced. So everybody, we know what the prices are for these um, particular plants. We have a Dracaena marginata right over here on the left, some Sansevieria, um, a sad looking majesty palms, but we have several more majesty palms right over here and some huge spathophyllum or peace lily. These are all for $24.48 but check this out right here this is probably the most full walmart in terms of just plants look at this whole row it must be like 30 feet of shelves across and you can already see that there are some plants that we're going to definitely take a look at look at that that is amazing how long and full <laughs> this Louisville, texas walmart is and you can see there are some neon colors so we are definitely going to be looking at each and every single one Again, this is mostly trending tropicals plants and a Costa Farm plant, so I'm so thankful. But we are just gonna take a quick walk through and you can see there is a philodendron um, ring of fire, a bunch of um, philodendron pink princess and a variety of alocasia. And it's interesting how they've mixed these roses up with all of these house plants. I will say you don't really want to put roses near house plants because roses actually end up attracting aphids and that's just not a good plant pest for um, house plants or tropical plants. Just FYI, that's just not a good merchandising um, tactic for this Walmart, but I guess they wanted to fill a bunch of empty space. But look at this. This is insane how much um, green foliage is here. It's like if you were to get rid of the background and just look at this, you would think that you were already in a jungle. So needless to say, it's awesome to see a bunch of rare plants and just all sorts of plants at a big box store like Walmart. Thanks to everybody that has tuned in to all of my live premieres. It looks like our live chats are getting more um, activity as we can continue to do this daily. But as you can see, our very first hanging basket is, let's take a look at it. This is a beautiful home decor. My name is Houseplant. I mean, we could do better with the um, the plant ID, but we already know that this is a hanging basket full of skindapsis um, right here. Now, I don't know which kind of skindapsis, but this is a skindapsis right here. And this is for $19.98. Um, Another Costa Farms um, hanging basket. I love it. Um, if I were to do a skindapsis hanging basket, I would look for one that was a little bit more variegated. And then here is a different um, Hoya. So for our, the viewers and plant foldies that want to see some more Hoya, here you go. This one is a Bobolata wax plant. Um, I'll just plant it, out, put it out there. This is Hoya D something. I'll have to pause it again when I'm doing the editing to show you what particular Hoya this is. But for all of us Hoya fans, here you go. You can see that there is a little bit of sun stressing right over there. Um, love the Hoya. I definitely have two Hoya in my collection. Both of them are um, exotic angels hanging baskets from Costa Farms. I have a Hoya um, Carnosa. Crimson Princess and another type of Hoya, but it's always nice to see hanging baskets from Costa Farms. They have a bunch right over here and you can already see, I remember telling you guys that I am in the hunt for a Neon Pothos or Epipremna Arium Neon Pothos. Well, on the very left, that is um, right there, but we'll take a look at the details later. I do want to show you this. This is a Stripes Forever Fitonia Large Leaf Form. Look at how beautiful this Fitonia is. I know that I've been going to a lot of lows places you know low stores and there's been a bunch of um, fitonias 
But I wanted to show you this Fotonia because not only is it healthy and lush, it is also happy and thriving because you can see there are blooms on this Fotonia. So I think that is amazing that we find this at a Walmart in all places, Louisville Colony area, Texas. Um, this is really awesome because a lot of people who watch my channel say that it is, you know, exciting to go plant hunting. And I will say this is probably the reason why I try my very best to get you guys at least two videos of plant shopping. Um, I'm just taking advantage of the fact that the Dallas North, you know, the North Dallas area or the DFW area just has so many places to, to shop at. So I'm able to get you guys some content. It's just a matter of the time. But look at how beautiful this Epipremnum Arium Neon Pothos is. So I've seen a lot of Vigoro hanging baskets at Home Depot that have Neon Pothos. But there is, you know, some damage and some cosmetic looks that I'm not really a fan of. But you can see this is a perfect looking hanging basket full of Neon Pothos. You can see how bright yellow and neon the colors are. I've been able to find a command strip to be able to hang a hanging basket at this weight. Um, I was able to find it on Amazon, so I'm still testing it. We'll see if, you know, the hanging basket falls. But um, I love the fact that I'm now able to hang plants, hanging basket plants, without having to drill a hole. Um, they have some really heavy-duty type um uh, command strips on Amazon. I know people have asked me to link it, so I'm going to definitely link it and also show you that in my um, Instagram stories and my um, Instagram pictures. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, please follow me at Growfold. You'll get some additional content there. But as you can see, we have another Fetonia. This one is a largely Fetonia pink version, but this one is the Fetonia pink wave definitely giving you guys some pink waves right over here look at how beautiful it is and these fetonia the white one and this pink one look so cute because there's some tiny looking flowers yep this is the pink wave and app apparently is from peru so i think that's awesome um that's the interesting part about quote house plants there's not really a true house plant because all of these plants are sourced from some part of the world. They just happen to be able to grow in indoor settings. So that's why they call them house plants. Just there aren't plants that are specifically just designed for the, the house because all of these had to come from somewhere. Now, this was a Dracaena uh, Florida Beauty. Um, this one is for $4.97 and these are the exotic angels right over here. It is a specific type of Dracaena. Um, this is going to be my very first Dracaena because look at the variegation. I don't know what that is, but look at the variegation. Remember how I mentioned in my previous videos, there's a specific one I've been eyeing at Lowe's. Well, I'm going to go ahead and buy this one for $4.97 because it is one dollar cheaper than the other big box stores and the variegation is highly variegated so i definitely want to add that to my collection i know that i'm on this like no plant buy but i mean they just make it too difficult to self-control so this one right over here is a false aurelia right over here or a galaxy false aurelia for 4.97 really like that one i like the gold crest false aurelia it has the green um margins but this was this is a green form and that has some really nice delicate looking leaves we have another begonia here this is another begonia rex what I like about this begonia is look at the silver leaf fold in the silver foliage, the pink and maroon foliage right over here. I do like this color palette in terms of just what plants I would add. I have yet to get a begonia. If I were to get a begonia, I would be getting a begonia looking glass. It's, it literally looks like foil and that's something I would like to add to my collection. But again, I need to figure out like my space care you know care tips and all of that you can't just add a million and one plants into your home and expect it to not have pests and just to be aesthetically pleasing i like to have plants like that i can style so i keep talking about that i know you guys have been asking me to do a plant um, tour of my home and that is in the works it'll be a couple weeks from now until i can get my home situated for youtube but you can see that one was a hedra helix of all things i thought it was some type of fern but it's actually a hedra helix and you can see that these plants unfortunately are very dehydrated like somebody in the garden department at this walmart needs to go ahead and water these plants because when i lift them up they are pretty light 
um, like here's another interesting begonia rex right over here this one has more subtle coloration but nonetheless this is for 497 not a bad looking begonia it's actually really cute and I posed this question last time. For those who shop at big box stores, do you guys collect a lot of these size plants, the ones that are for $4.98 and have like a bunch of them in a collection? I'm curious to see if anybody does. Please leave in the comments or in the live chat if you do. Just curious how that look, has worked out in terms of your plant collection because it's very easy to get addicted to just buying small those small plants. And as you guys can see, this is a trending tropicals, um, Raven ZZ. And what I wanted to do is put this Raven's Easy right next to the Epipremnum Arium Neon. Look at that color um, contrast, that Raven Black against that yellow and neon. And then we have these uh, Monstera Peru. This is another Trending Tropicals by Costa Farms. These are all for 1984, 1984. And I'm showing you the self-watering planters. Costa Farms did an amazing job switching over their ceramic planters to these self-watering planters just because then the then the plant actually just takes the the water as needed versus us having to guess by top um, watering. I know the top watering can actually introduce um, fungus gnats, so self watering the top of the soil tends to remain dry. Here is another type of Calathea. Somebody please leave me the um, Calathea ID for this one. I honestly don't know the specifics, but this is one I run into often. And then here is a very sad looking Alocasia. Um, silver dragon it's just dehydrated for 1984 you know the next time I go to a Walmart or a big box store I'm gonna bring me a big you know bottle of water just so I can actually water some of these plants or put them in those self watering planters I think I could save a couple of plants um, do you guys ever find yourself actually going to big box stores and watering plants or like grooming them so because like right now i saw a bunch of dead leaves i went ahead and took it off of this monstera cobra or monstera uh, studliana don't you think it looks better now that i got rid of the leaves i think there's just one more yellow leaf there that i will get rid of but that's what i would do to groom your leaves um oftentimes i don't know at least for me whenever i have like plants in my collection and they've gotten brown leaves some just damage sometimes i just let it sit there but if you honestly took like maybe five to ten minutes the collection just gets better looking because your plants are groomed so that's part of like the plant chores that's something i might eventually do once i introduce my home to youtube is to do plant chores and have you guys see me in action taking care of my plants but as you can see i'm kind of grooming this uh, monstera cobra just wanted to get rid of some of the dead leaves so it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing perhaps um this looking like a healthy looking plant will attract people into purchasing it and then we have a traditional global green pothos i know we have the epipremnum arium lemon meringue by costa farms but this global green pothos those is still a classic it's actually one of my favorite glow um epipremnum arium just because look at the green on green variegation this one has a little bit more subtle green on green variegation but what i've found after th you know growing global green pothos for the last three years is the more light it receives the more pronounced the sectoral green on green variegation will work um this is a beautiful philodendron crocodile golden crocodile Remember how I introduced these in one of my earlier videos? Well, I thought I wasn't going to see any of these, but this actually looks a lot healthier than the one or at least better looking than the one I picked at the other um, Walmart that sold a philodendron golden crocodile. Um, let me know what you guys think of this philodendron golden crocodile. If I had the funds for it, I would totally buy this again and have like two of them. This is such a beautiful plant and I often did, never really saw like a mature or at least a semi-mature version of this plant. It's always like a starter plug, but that is so beautiful and Costa Farms did amazing like introducing the philodendron golden crocodile. Um, we have some more Monstera Peru right here. In terms of the Costa Farms Training Tropicals, I would say for the most part of all the big box stores I've seen, Monstera Perus end up looking the most healthy or the least like shocked or damaged. So I thought that was really interesting. I would say uh, Alocasia Silver Dragon has had a couple of casualties already. Speaking of casualties, you can see these Venus um, fly traps. Did you see all the browning? 
um, Texas or North Dallas at least had some snow and some um, really cold temperatures the past two days. So maybe the pallets have gotten too cold and maybe did some frost damage for some of the plants. There's not a lot of damage so far right now um, that I'm seeing in these plants. Like this um, Begonia Maculata for 1984 is looking great. This is another Costa Farms Trending Tropicals. I definitely want to add this to my collection. The begonia like polka dots look so amazing. I used to have one, but I gave it to my grandmother and she was able to like propagate an entire jungle. I'm telling you, my grandmother is such an expert when it comes to begonia. But here we have another philodendron, um, philodendron golden crocodile. Guys, let me know what you think of this. Like this is amazing. Um, and these plants look super healthy and fresh. So I'm assuming that they must have just unboxed these um, plants within the last day or two. I may do a follow-up visit and see if these plants health maintained within uh, a week. But as you can see, I found me my little treasure. I'm definitely gonna take that um, Epipremnum arium neon pothos home alongside that um, Dracaena Florida Beauty. You already know if you're on the Grow Folds channel, I am gonna have to like show you Aglonema because I don't wanna flat out say that Aglonema are my favorite plants because I still wanna stick to my first love, which is Syngoniums, but that Aglonema Red Siam is amazing and that one's for $14.97. And this big br bromeliad is also gorgeous and guess how much that is? It is only for $14.97 as well. You can see here we have a philodendron birkins. I said this in the last video, but I would tell you philodendron birkins seems to be the most common philodendron that has electrifying variegation like this. Well, this one's not as highly variegated, but I was told that philodendrons, um, birkins, their variegation tends to be more pronounced with more light. This is a beautiful Aglonema Frosted Ghost. So I see a lot of these Aglonema Frosted Ghost in like Lowe's, but not so much home, not um, so much Walmart. So I wanted to feature this right over here. I did a little bit of like plant grooming by getting rid of these dead leaves. That's what I do with my plants. And look at that, voila. This plant looks super healthy and this is also for $14.97. So if anybody's asking about care tips with Aglonema, basically for Aglonema, you need to just give them bright and direct light. Don't let somebody fool you and say that they can grow in um, dark conditions. Um, they won't look as like full. Make sure you only water them maybe once or twice um, every two weeks. They tend to like to be on the drier side because root rot is real for Aglonema and that's basically the care tips. Here we have another mini ficus lyrata. So if you saw my previous video from yesterday, I um, premiered a video of um, grocery store plants and I was able to find a ficus lyrata like this for 99 cents. This one is actually $14.97, which isn't bad, but can you imagine getting a ficus lyrata that size for 99 cents, like legit? If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. What else do we have right over here? We have some more bromeliads. Um, these bromeliads look like somebody spray painted into them with pink. And then we have some more Sansevieria or snake plants here. Um, this one's for $14.97 and they're all in self-watering planters. These are all being marketed as plants with benefits, but these are actually um, sourced and grown by Costa Farms. That's just the brand that Walmart is calling these self-watering um, ones right over here. We have um, another ZZ right here. Um, what else do we have? Some more bromeliads. But as you can see, the, they have so many plants that they needed more space. Like this one is absolutely stunning. Look at how huge this is. For $14.97, you get a huge bromeliad that pretty much like takes over the whole shelf. I'm gonna give you guys just a little bit more details on that. Like look at the span of the leaves and look at how beautiful that, um, that variegation is for this particular bromeliad like that's just really stunning and i love how the colors um kind of look like somebody might have like stained the um the leaves or just kind of like spray painted it this is actually a very nice looking plant now for bromeliads i'm not 100 percent sure what the care tips are just because i don't have a single one in my collection so for the plant photos or the viewers 
please leave comments on how to grow bromeliad or if you're in the live chat right now also just comment and let me know but what do you guys think isn't that an amazing um size plant and beautiful for $14.97 and then obviously we have some more plants here some ginseng ficus bonsai and you can already see that that leaf right there is um signifying some philodendron we are going to look at this pachira aquatica or the money tree this one is for $14.97 and this is um by expert gardener they say to like add two water and you know ice cubes and that's all you have to do to water that i wouldn't suggest ice cubes like i've said in another video if you see people or like you know plants that suggest that you just need to water them with ice cubes definitely don't do that just because i feel like ice cubes would shock the root of the plant but that um but maybe that's just me assuming um we have this philodendron ring of fire i know everybody that saw that one walmart restock really liked that we are still seeing several of these um philodendron white knight white princess we're gonna see what this one is or what it's labeled this one is the white knight and you can tell this is the white knight because you can see on the stems the um the edges are white i think the difference between a philodendron pink um white princess and a philodendron white knight is that the white princess has white margins as well as like subtle pink in its stem so we're gonna see what this one looks like right here look at how beautiful that is and these are for 2447 um this is another white knight and notice how that the first white knight is smaller and then the the second white knight is a lot larger um i think if you're in the dfw market and you happen to go into a walmart um just know that you have options in terms of variegation size and and what and health of the plant there are so many of these available like look at this one now this one has way better variegation and guess what this is the philodendron white princess i like this like i would totally buy this plant because i would say there's about three or four philodendron white princess in just one pot like this one is very compact with a bunch of juvenile plants but you can see it's already upsizing its um leaves so we have a philodendron white princess and two philodendron white knight the middle one is a really large white knight that's kind of what i did is i picked a highly variegated philodendron pink i mean white princess and a really largely philodendron white knight and you can see the the growth right there it just unfurled really looks nice and then we have another philodendron ring of fire i'm going to go ahead and place these plants right over here that way they have a home and i'm going to go ahead and place that white princess so maybe somebody will be enticed enough to buy it but i just want to go ahead and pan out again look at how beautifully full these um begonia maculata are like i think these are absolutely stunning and you can see that golden um crocodile philodendron golden crocodile just shouts like look at me because it's so neon i love the colors and then obviously these ring of fires as well very nice size plant these are also for 24.47 these are not by costa farms these are actually by growers bench which is basically the um, nursery company that is in charge of wild interiors wild interior plants typically end up going more so to grocery stores and um, i'm just glad to see that they are now being more available in big box stores like walmart look at the beautiful variegation of this philodendron ring of fire if you had something like this in your grocery store or a big box store i already know everybody watching this video right now would pick that up that is an absolutely beautiful plant nice size health variegation and the price i would tell you is actually fair um and obviously we have some or philanopsis orchids these are in different sizes um i definitely need to do an orchid episode like look at these beautiful orchids very cost effective prices that's what walmart's known for and that's why big box plant shopping at walmart is absolutely great you can see all of these philodendron pink princess like they're literally everywhere and so if you end up finding yourself at a walmart you definitely want to take the time to pr pretty much pull every single philodendron pink princess and assess the variegation assess the growth pattern all of that 
because you've got options. Like look at this one. This one has better variegation than the first one I picked up. Look at that. And it's actually really compact with several plants in there. I'm noticing some of the Philodendron Pink Princess might have like some really large leaves, but have like very small variegation in only one plant versus some of these other Pink Princess that have like variegation like this that are not just a single philodendron pink princess like there's several plants within the pot so you know you want to make sure variegation is good and you're also getting your money's worth because it's always nice to have multiple plants in a planter for sure but look at this pink right here that is amazing and look at how large the leaf is um I just think it's so interesting that the philodendron pink princess is now at an affordable price for like $24.47. Like I was stating before, this one is there's just a single um, philodendron pink princess here, but nonetheless, the leaves are big and they've got some pretty decent variegation. Um, those used to be so much more, um, like what, two to three years ago. So if you're seeing philodendron pink princess being sold for like anything above sixty dollars you're getting ripped off that's just my opinion because now you can find it in big box stores and then this is an interesting um alocasia i actually haven't seen this this is the first time i've seen it at walmart and i believe this is the alocasia cupria for anybody in the the live chat or just watching the video if i have the plant id incorrect please correct me in the comments i want to make sure that the accuracy of the plant ids are reflected in the comments and also the subtitles that i meticulously add after i add you know edit the video so i hope you guys actually like me putting the title of the plant as a subtitle it does take a while to do it but i've gotten some really positive feedback about it like for instance this is an alocasia milo i ended up getting one of these as well it's doing well for me i'm just surprised that you know alocasia with such thick leathery feeling um foliage is still susceptible to spider mites like i'm just interested in the science behind why certain plants are more susceptible to certain pests like you know hedra helix for instance you know you're gonna get spider mites it's like a an open invitation if you bring it into your home but i can go rant about that later i do want to show you that this is a really cool statement so this walmart made an end cap full of um orchids and you can see that the price is literally shouting out 15.97 for all of these orchids on this end cap so that's really cool like that and then i do want to pan in over there walmart did really good for this for the 2024 season in terms of planters and do you find this interesting so maybe this is like symbolic for me but look at this philodendron pink princess surrounded by a bunch of like rose thorns it's like these roses right here rose thorns are like protecting the princess i don't know um anyways that's just i don't know i just imagine that but look at how beautiful this philodendron pink princess is obviously it has larger leaves and let me just be careful that the thorns don't like snap one of the the leaves and but there's only like one plant in here this is for 24 47 so the two types of um well actually three types of philodendron pink princess i've been seeing at walmart by growers bench is the large leaf somewhat you know nice variegated plant like that with single stem just one plant then i'm seeing some philodendron pink princess that are like very compact and smaller but have really good variegation and then we have some of the duds where they're like it doesn't have the best genetics where it's like maybe one speckle of pink but the leaves are mostly burgundy um those are the philodendron pink princess i've seen this is a really nice looking um alocasia pink princess or alocasia pink dragon look at how beautiful the stems are and i love the leaf shape of this particular alocasia it has definitely a more leathery silky looking leaf look at that that's just amazing i love the texture of this one i bought one of these from an online um plant seller out in florida off of etsy it's not doing the best so if it doesn't get get through i'm definitely gonna go ahead and just buy this alocasia pink dragon by growers bench that is for 
94 so these alocasia are a little bit cheaper than the philodendron white princess the philodendron pink princess the philodendron white knight and then obviously we have some more bromeliads you can't ex exclude the bromeliads these are by our 1497 as well and these are by wild interiors so wild interiors is basically marketing the more easy to care common appearance plants versus some of the rare uncommon ones and they are marketing it as growers bench so kind of find that interesting here is a pineapple bromeliad so bromeliads um pineapples are actually within the bromeliad family so i think that's really interesting but look at how cute the little pineapple is there that's for 14.97 and then we have a variety of different type of dormant roses it's a little too early to plant roses but nonetheless walmart's got them and then this is a really cute little cactus that I've seen now at several um, Walmarts that carry um, Growers Bench. This one is the Cuddly Cactus, and this one is also for $14.97. This is actually my favorite catch pot. The Simple Terracotta um, is definitely gonna fit my vibe if I were to pick the planter. And then we have some more large, um, larger developed um, anthurium here I really like the pink here so it's not the typical red one and just for um, viewers that don't know the anthurium the actual bloom is just the yellow looking stick part it's not the colored part just so FYI it's just kind of the same thing as poinsettias and then right over here we have some more bromeliad pineapples those are all in self-watering planters by um Actually, I'm not sure if it's um, Training Trout in Coastal Farms or Growers Bench, but uh, no, actually it's Growers Bench. Yeah, Growers Bench for $14.97. Here is another Anthurium here. And actually, I would say Walmart has the best looking Anthuriums this season. These are just those just add water or just add um, ice cubes. And this one is for $14.97. Um, I love that, you know, anthuriums are very readily available in the quality and health this year for 2024 is looking awesome now this is a cool hanging basket by costa farms exotic angel this is the hoya carnosa crimson princess look at how beautiful the leaves are right here and it's already trailing this was my first hanging basket i purchased a couple like maybe a week or two ago and i've got it hanging in my kitchen Look at how beautiful this Hoya is, this rubber plant is. This is for $14.98, I mean not $14.98, $19.98. So we have um, that, we have a Hedra Helix Spear Point um, Ivy. This is also a hanging basket by Exotic Angels Costa Farms. Costa Farms is really at it in terms of just sending a bunch of restock. So please keep sending more this year Costa Farms to the DFW market. I will be here to advertise and show your beautiful healthy plants that I know everybody loves. So if anybody at Costa Farms is watching this video, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew. We appreciate all the new releases that you guys are doing. Anyways, this is a garden expert. Um, so that's another Walmart brand for $9.97. That is a Diefenbachia. And then did you see me find another hanging basket of Costa from Costa Farms? This is the Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess absolutely stunning this is another beautiful hanging basket for 1998 now with hoyas if you don't know they do require a little bit more bright indirect light um, they can tolerate being a little bit underwater so just fyi those just some, you know some care tips here we have some sago palm we have some aglonema maria these are um under the plants with benefits line but these are grown by costa farm so aglonema maria is a very easy to find aglonema you pretty much see them at big box stores grocery stores everywhere this is another beautiful um, calathea from costa farms this one is for $14.97 and this is the calathea medallion nice looking calathea i i was curious and interested in buying it but i don't want to add too many calathea at once because as we know calathea are very fussy plants that is a cool um looking leaf that's about to unfurl this one is just a reg regular staghorn fern this isn't the dutch one the dutch one that i've seen in hanging baskets are larger but look at how beautiful this is um platysanth the room i think that's how you pronounce it i might be mispronouncing it but this is a beautiful staghorn fern 
look at the leaves the texture of the leaves you I, I don't know I, I really do want to get one of these tag corn ferns I'm gonna see about mounting a couple I may have my brother-in-law actually make me some like specific wooden planks and we'll see how that goes but here is another um, Epipremnum arium golden pothos not golden pothos neon pothos this is for 1998 this one is just a little bit more dehydrated so if i'm going to be picky if i had to pick between the two the first hanging basket of neon pothos is what i would grab but that's cool that we have two of them and even it looking dehydrated it does look better than a lot of the home depot vigoro hanging baskets i've seen so far of um, the neon pothos and then obviously we have an alcasia silver dragon over there from trending tropicals that is for 1984 it's in a self-watering planter. I'll go ahead and pull it up. Look at that. It looks a little bit dehydrated because the leaves are starting to curl. But look at the silver dragon right next to the philodendron golden crocodile. The, the leaf textures and color contrast is amazing. I'm probably going to walk around here and just kind of show you what all of these plants look like. Can you believe that I ran into this Walmart right here, found two plants I did not intend to want to purchase, but look at how beautiful that is absolutely stunning and i'm just gonna pan away look at how much like space this required to get these house plants or these tropical plants in um the venus fly, fly traps are taking up a lot of space but i'm hoping that even though this um walmart tends to be super full and restock i'm hoping the costa farms will still be very aggressive in how many plants they're pushing at big box stores because i think this year we're going to see more and more plants being released that used to be common or un, you know or rare and speaking of common or rare this is a common occurrence for me i have been seeing a lot of these costa farms palettes and you can see these are um hosting dracaena and then this one i believe yeah so these are large spathophyllum that are still you know plant hostage like they need to go ahead and get these plants out and display but i totally get it at least for this walmart in Louisville. there's just no space or they don't have any more shelves like set up for plants um, I think they would do better if they didn't have to just like jam all the plants in one big table. But at the same time, it kind of looks cool because it looks like a little bit of a jungle. So a little tidbit I was going to tell you guys is as I'm filming, I actually had to keep looking at that one Neon Pothos because there were a couple people that wanted to purchase it. And I'm like, nope, I don't have a cart. Sorry, that's mine. Um, I did find this um, really cool Exotic Angels Costa Farms um, sh like shipper because look at this they have a bunch of these plants already ready to go and this one is a little bit more pricey by a dollar so the Exotic Angels in these planters that do not have these planters like that I'm showing you right here is a dollar cheaper this one is for $5.48 so all of these plants here are for $5.48 that was a Fetonia and then we have an inch plant or just a regular Tritoscanthia right over there. Um, the next one I'm going to show you guys is another um, Rex Begonia. Very beautiful. And actually all of these exotic angel plants in this um, palette look very fresh and healthy. If I were in the right frame of mind, I would have just bought some of these. But like I said, again, I can't just be buying every single plant that I feature. Although this one I want to take home right now. This is a... Epipremnum arium enjoy and then we have another like polka dot plant um combination that is also for 548 so costa farms is really bringing it in in terms of how you know how many plants they're pushing out and if you get lucky like me where you just walk into a walmart that just got restocked you will find beautiful plants like this like this is an amazing um peperomia for 548 I love that it's all single price point. So like you can see this Cotron of uh, this Croton Petra is um, also $5.48. This Diefenbachia Camille is also for um, $5.48. And Diefenbachia, if you buy these smaller plants, you can grow them to pretty large size um, plants like that. So here's a tidbit. So you know how I was saying that there were a couple of um, customers that were looking at those two plants? Well, I had to go ahead and grab those plants and put them right next to me as I film the rest of these um, exotic angels. I just didn't bring a shopping cart. 
I figured that bringing a shopping cart would prevent me from buying plants, but as you can see, I'm just going to carry them and protect them while I film this content for you. Beautiful um, Epipremnum Arium Marble Queen Pothos. Look at the variegation on this one. These are actually highly variegated, so really good quality um, Marble Queen Pothos. I would say if the leaves were as white as this particular one right here, these could actually be Epipremnum Arium Snow Queens. These are all for $5.48. Since I already have um, that, I bought one at um, Callaway's Nursery. I, I feel like I don't have to get any more of those uh, Marble Queens. This is a nice little fern right here for $5.48. I don't have any um, fern in my collection at the moment. And we have another Croton right here. This one is the Croton Mame. So this one is for $5.48. I've seen a lot of these, this particular Croton at um, Lowe's. I definitely like this croton um, just because a lot of the leaves are actually more, um, you know, red. It looks like an actual like fire or flame. So I thought that was really cool. And this is a more variegated croton petra. You saw the first one. This one has more variegation. So the thing about crotons are is they're marketed as quote house plants, but they don't do as well indoors as they do outdoors because they require so much light and speaking of light sansevieria that's an easy plant to grow they really tolerate low light conditions and then this is the green prayer plant um this is a really cute one i've seen um prayer plants variegated prayer plants but this is just a normal green one right here for 548 um, it's also in the same type of genus or family as like Calathea and Stromanthe. They are all very finicky plants. I would say the prayer plant, not as much as a Calathea though, but I did want to pan out here. So this looks like this box must have just been like unloaded today because there hasn't been a single plant sold. If it were up to me, I would take every single one of these. Like, look at these beautiful Fetonia. We have some Tradescanthia right here, my plant foldies. We have some Begonia Rex. I actually like the color of that one. We have some Epipremnum Arium Enjoy. We have some um, polka dot plants right over here, a combination of different colors. And then what else do we have that Costa Farms gave us? We have a Peperomia right over there, some um, Croton, the Diefenbachia, the Gold Dust Croton. This is super common. I didn't realize that. And then we have an Epipremnum Arium Marble Queen. Both those. And look at that beautiful variegation. Like, it is stunning. I love the white. Um, and we have some more right over here. Like, this is super full. And then we have another um, fern. So we have some ferns right there. We have some more of that um, Mame Croton, Sansevieria, and then the Petra Croton, and then obviously the green prayer plant. Super cute. And all of these guys are only $5.48. Not bad at all. So anybody in the DFW market, especially in the Louisville Colony, Texas area, run to this Walmart. It is right next to 121 you will not regret going here if you are able to catch all of these plants because they still have that philodendron um, golden crocodile that a lot of people are looking for we've got some nice looking hanging baskets a bunch of you know philodendron pink princess and this really cool hoya um, carnosa crimson princess so i just think that's awesome as you can see those are the plants i'm gonna buy today i didn't bring a cart and i'm telling you that um there was just several people that were wanting to buy it and so here's a surprise, guys. So you know how we were just looking at Walmart? Well, guess where I'm at? I am at a Target, and I was surprised to see that they had a whole aisle of tropical houseplants. Like, can you believe this? Now, these are really cool training tropical planters. I haven't seen these. Um, that's a beautiful Calathea Macuyana. These are all for $14.99, but look at this. This is a beautiful Syngonia Maria. Whoever did this, look at how beautiful and shiny the leaves are. So you can tell that this store, at least this um, particular store right here, big box store, takes care of its plants. As Because, I mean, they got to the point where they have, like, leaf shine that looks absolutely stunning. I haven't ever seen, like, a Syngonium that was leaf shined in an actual big box store. We have a bunch of succulents right over here. And we have another beautiful Syngonium Maria. And look at the planters. 
These are super modern at Target. Like these live trends, this is called the Silo. These live trend um, plants, at least at this Target right over here, is absolutely gorgeous. Like I wanted to surprise you guys because I know that Target not isn't necessarily at least a big box retailer that carries these plants. But look at this Dracaena Hurricane, absolutely stunning. And I really love these planters. Like I would totally work with these colors. And we have, you know, we have another Costa Farms, Aglonema, Silver Bay, and that is also, I believe, I'm not, I don't have the full price, but look at how beautiful these hanging baskets are right here. And these are by Live Trends. Lots of Epipremnum Arium Golden Pothos, but I haven't seen this particular hanging basket of Live Trends at like a Lowe's or a Home Depot. This is the first time I've seen it and I've, I'm seeing it at a Target, but look at the leaf shine. Plant foldies and my viewers, would you agree that Target has some, at least this Target right here, has some beautiful, healthy plants? Look at this. This is amazing. This is a Sansevieria Fernwood, and we have another Sansevieria right over here. I actually prefer those like bamboo looking Sansevieria, but look at the planters. That pink is really precious, that cotton candy pink. Look at that condicant that cotton candy pink looking planter with the Sansevieria. Gotta hand it to Target in terms of just quality and brand. Um, that is the best big box store. They definitely have really nice styling. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this, even the planters that they have for these specific larger foliage plants. Even these silver bay, you know, these Aglaonema silver bay, their leaf shine. Look at how healthy the leaves are looking. Those are some cute um, ponytail palm, really cute. We have some more large silver bay there. And then we have some type of basket that can be used as a stylish planter. So super shocked, super excited to see that. And you have you guys noticed, like, look at this um, Peperomia or Tusifolia. Look at that planter nice sky blue matte colors this is more of my my taste i like matte colors very simple planters that have very bold like shapes and statements here is just another succulent um arrangement and we have some more zz's right over here some larger zz's and then we have some baskets suggesting you can use it but look at how beautiful this is this pink um planter is awesome I and mean, look at how beautiful this alocasia california is i will say these planters like look at this one right here it's called green cellar but look at this stromanthi i wasn't in the hunt for a stromanthi but look at this this is for 20 dollars, i believe those two um the alocasia and the stromanthi but look at the leaves leaf shined already looking super healthy and I didn't realize from just looking above that if I were to put like this, um, look at how beautiful this is, right? Like look at this um, Stramanthi Trio Star. Haven't seen such a healthy looking, beautiful one um, at any store. And I've been to a lot of Walmarts, a lot of Lowe's, a lot of um, Home Depots, a lot of grocery stores. I haven't seen plants this healthy. Like I'm just telling you, Target for whatever, you know, plants they have just so far by Live Trends, this is amazing. Like we need that, but not only just the health of the plant, look at the planters, look at the planters. These planters are amazing and they're priced well. Like, look at this. This is a Monstera Deliciosa juvenile form, but do you see how shiny and healthy the leaves are? Like, can we say that Target wins the big box store of the year for at least showing us such a beautiful aisle of healthy looking plants. Like who does that? Who has healthy plants with no pest and leaf shine? I'm just gonna pan out here and even the merchandising and organization of these plants, whoever did this, kudos to whoever did this. And look at this, they have hanging baskets within the aisle. Super cute, I love it. And they have these little accessories right over here. I would tell you, you know, we just saw a bunch of plants like kind of jammed in at Walmart. Walmart has more variety of plants, but if I were to compare what Target has, Target has a lot more quality plants. Even if they're not getting a lot of the trending tropicals, look at these plants, look at the health of the plants, look at the variety of the plants. And this is what you call 
commonly found but easy care plants, not just common house plants. Because look at this, that Alocasia, um, California, I've seen a lot of those at like Home Depots, but they're not as healthy and they're not presented in a, um, a really stylish way like this Target does. Like, look at this. The the planters, I, I'm to I could totally work with that. Now these larger planters, I wish they weren't textured. I wish they were more like, I don't know, just more like smooth. But this, look at this Aglaonema Maria. Like this makes me want to buy this plant, even though it is like $14.99 and I can get that Aglaonema for like $6.99. It's just about the planter and even the care. So I wanted to pan out here. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this added bonus, this surprise bonus about like Target actually carrying a couple of plants, or at least this specific one right here. Look at the planters. Let me know what you think. If you guys are interested to kind of get an idea of what my plants would look like in my home collection this is it you're looking at this right now just even the styling like i want to buy that stromanthe trial star for sure but i also want to get that alocasia california just because it's so healthy looking in the planter did so much like i just want to show you this this actually looks like a ficus umbellata but it is just an alocasia so I definitely hope you guys like this restock video at the Louisville Colony Walmart and then this finding this uh, particular target in the area. Super cool, beautiful plant. Highly suggest you guys to check this out. If you see any targets, let me know if you find more plants, but look at the styling and uh, my plant fold is as always thank you for supporting me and watching my video premieres i hope we continue to chat i hope that we continue to grow our community because i don't mind you know doing videos twice a day for you if we're going to have an audience just to share the love for plants but like i said again this is amazing never seen a target carry live plants they should totally do this and you guys this is the best Dramanthi trial star I've seen at any store and it gives me an idea to like maybe put this on top of my fridge because you can see the undersides the undersides um, has such such beautiful contrast and interest what a be beautiful plant what a beautiful alocasia what a beautiful sansevieria what beautiful monstera deliciosa just because big box store using leaf shine and having plant styling like this leave it to target to really be a front runner when it comes to that my plant foldies i'm about to end this video i really hope you guys like the walmart restock and the little surprise target i will see you on the next video